Maxwell Chikumbutso, the Zimbabwean inventor who claims to have created a free energy vehicle powered by radio frequencies, has been making headlines in his home country and across Africa. His invention, a microsonic energy device, allegedly converts ambient radio frequencies into usable energy, enabling vehicles and generators to operate indefinitely without fuel or recharging. Despite its groundbreaking potential, Maxwell's invention has faced significant skepticism and challenges particularly in gaining global recognition and securing a patent in the United States. The U.S. Patent Office rejected Maxwell's application, labeling his device as a perpetual motion machine, a concept long debunked by scientists. Perpetual motion machines violate the laws of thermodynamics, specifically the principle of energy conservation, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. Maxwell's device, which claims to generate megawatts of power from ambient radio frequencies without any external input, appears to defy this fundamental law. While Maxwell insists his invention works, the lack of a clear scientific explanation or independent validation has fueled doubts. In an interview, Maxwell explained how the patent denial has impacted his ability to commercialize his invention. Without patent protection, he struggles to secure funding, attract investors, or license his technology. This setback highlights the challenges faced by African inventors, who often lack the resources and global credibility to bring their innovations to the world stage. Maxwell's story is a stark reminder of the systemic biases that hinder African innovators, as groundbreaking claims from Western inventors like Elon Musk often receive far more attention and support. Maxwell's invention, if proven valid, could revolutionize energy and transportation. His free energy vehicle, the Scythe, developed in collaboration with a Chinese company, boasts an unlimited driving range and a top speed of 220 km per hour. The vehicle's energy system, which powers both the car and external devices like generators, could eliminate dependence on fossil fuels and drastically reduce carbon emissions. With an estimated manufacturing cost of just $14,000 per unit, the Scythe has the potential to make clean energy technology accessible on a global scale. However, skepticism remains. Critics argue that radio frequency energy harvesting, while a real concept, is currently used to power low energy devices like sensors, not vehicles. Maxwell claims to have amplified this energy using his microsonic device, but without detailed scientific data or peer-reviewed studies, his claims are difficult to verify. Independent testing and transparency are crucial to gaining the trust of the scientific community and the public. Maxwell's story also underscores the broader issue of how African innovations are perceived and covered by global media. While his invention has been celebrated in Zimbabwe and some African outlets, it has yet to gain significant traction internationally. If a Western inventor like Elon Musk had made similar claims, the world would likely be in a frenzy. This disparity highlights the subconscious bias that assumes African inventors lack the resources or expertise to achieve revolutionary breakthroughs. Despite these challenges, Maxwell remains optimistic. He has demonstrated his technology to Zimbabwean President Emerson Manangagwa, who has praised the invention as a world first and emphasized the importance of supporting homegrown talent. The Zimbabwean government is now exploring ways to establish a local vehicle manufacturing plant, which could position the country as a leader in clean energy technology. Maxwell's journey is a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of African inventors. His invention, if validated, could redefine transportation, sustainability, and economic independence on a global scale. But for now, the burden of proof lies with Maxwell to provide the extraordinary evidence required to support his extraordinary claims. As the world watches, his story serves as a powerful reminder that innovation knows no borders, and the next big breakthrough could come from anywhere. Maxwell's invention has already shown promise in Zimbabwe, where he has demonstrated its capabilities to local officials and media. His device, which he claims can power a car or a generator capable of supplying energy to 300 homes, has the potential to address some of the country's most pressing challenges, such as energy shortages and high fuel costs. However, without broader recognition and support, Maxwell's invention risks remaining confined to his home country. One of the biggest hurdles Maxwell faces is the lack of independent verification. While he has demonstrated his technology to local officials and media, there has been no global demonstration or testing by independent experts. This lack of transparency has left many skeptical of his claims. Maxwell has stated that he is open to independent testing, but so far no major scientific institutions or organizations have taken up the offer. 
Another challenge is the perception of African inventors on the global stage. Maxwell's story highlights the systemic biases that often prevent African innovators from gaining the recognition and support they deserve. The narrative that groundbreaking innovations can only come from Western countries like the US or Europe is deeply ingrained, and African inventors often face an uphill battle in gaining global trust. Maxwell's invention has the potential to disrupt established industries, particularly the energy and automotive sectors. If his technology is proven valid, it could eliminate the need for fossil fuels, drastically reduce carbon emissions, and transform global economies. However, the road to commercialization is fraught with challenges, including regulatory approvals, scalability, and resistance from established industries. Despite these challenges, Maxwell remains committed to his vision. He has stated that his ultimate goal is to make clean energy technology accessible to everyone, particularly in developing countries where energy shortages are a major issue. His invention, if successful, could provide a sustainable and affordable solution to some of the world's most pressing energy challenges. Maxwell's story is a powerful reminder of the potential of African innovation. His journey highlights the challenges faced by African inventors, but also the incredible potential for groundbreaking discoveries to emerge from the continent. As the world continues to grapple with issues like climate change and energy security, the need for innovative solutions has never been greater. Maxwell's invention, if proven valid, could be a game-changer in the global quest for sustainable energy. In conclusion, Maxwell Chikumbuzo's story is one of resilience, ingenuity, and the power of innovation. His invention, if validated, has the potential to redefine transportation, sustainability, and economic independence on a global scale. However, the road to recognition and commercialization is fraught with challenges, and the burden of proof lies with Maxwell to provide the extraordinary evidence required to support his extraordinary claims. As the world watches, his story serves as a powerful reminder that innovation knows no borders, and the next big breakthrough could come from anywhere.